Okay. Uh, right. So with 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, did I share my screen? No. No, I didn't. No. No. Okay, your entire screen. Check, check. Okay, good. And I think some of you also got disconnected. Yeah. Plus here. Okay, so with number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, they are all in December and this is from chapter 4, uh, 6 and also chapter um, 9. And then the last week will be from chapter 12. But for this assignment too, maybe we need to rearrange back to other uh, other place because I don't think we're going to have week 12 as your last assignment because of um, but this is important extra important it's just that I want I want to uh, produce a carry marks it will take time because this is the last week right and you guys only have how many uh, revision days it's supposed to be a week of revision, but now they just give you two days for revision. Only two days. Just <laughs> All right. Uh, and by the way, you guys are going to have a one, one week break, which is from 23rd to 27th. So don't worry, you still can have some old holiday here. And then uh we also have one day off which is in this month uh 29 so maybe we need to speed up our our class so that we can uh we can have holiday here <laughs> right i give you some empty schedule uh blocks here because of why because you guys are going to fill in for your own study plan uh, I already put it in a semester plan like this, but maybe you can do your own revision by filling up this thing and then plan yourself. Not only for my course, but you can do it for your other session. Okay, and I put it in week form until week 12 here. And when is your final? It's in January. January starting from 11 up until uh, here. 24 the week 15 so coming from here to here and then you're going to have a holiday until uh, February 8th so alhamdulillah <laughs> inshallah okay and then my consultation hour uh, this is my uh, schedule um, basically today I'm going to have two classes including your class and then uh, I have some spare time there, but you can yeah, just test, test me during the nine class hour or after five also can. So I, I don't mind. Uh, just ask me if anything. Inshallah, we're going to have something like um, quiz in the class. Yeah, inshallah in the class. We will not uh, take your time at the time. And then... Uh, and usually I will be in IIUM on Friday or any other days uh, during the uh, week time. But um, Friday, I always have meetings. 
meetings here and meetings here. So if you want to catch me, you can just text me and then we, we will meet. Or if still impossible, we can do some online meeting other than this day, uh, this uh, time. Uh, or you can just uh, text me via Telegram or WhatsApp, inshallah. Okay. Mm. Is it all that? Scott. Done, eh? Any questions so far? I think all done. Let's play. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Uh, how to score this subject? <laughs> we have any Come again. You need to study, yes. But how how to study smart? Do exercise. Do lots of exercise. Yes. Uh, my suggestion is, uh, if you look at your, uh, your topics here. We have various method and analysis. So what can you do is, uh, when you have one question, usually you can solve with many methods, many other methods. So you can team up with your friends, like maybe in a, in a group you have four friends, include, including you, then you can assign. Each of you use other methods, like uh, maybe, you use uh, mesh analysis, your friend use nodal analysis, and the other friend use source transformation, and the other one use superposition. So you can compare the results and do, yeah, do the discussion uh, like this. And then you will uh, save your time. Save your time by doing exercise, because sometimes a student will take uh more than 20 minutes to solve only one question so this is not not really good because you start with one question forever <laughs> okay uh, and yes you need lots of practices uh please practice practice and practice mm. uh, that's the key okay if you start with any question you can just ask me or any other instructor from other sessions. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, if you cannot reach me, then you can reach other instructor. Mm. Okay, done. So can we go to our first uh, slide? Sure. Mm -hmm. Open. Ini saya dah conteng kejap eh. Let me open. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, our chapter number one, which is the basic concept. Uh, yes, everything coming one source. I mean, the church. Uh, first, from the church, uh, from the this church, when you, uh, when this church is moving, uh, then we can say that it has some. Uh, it has a property of current. When you apply some force into this uh, charge, then you have a voltage here. And then uh, when you have current and voltage, you can apply, uh, you can have power. And then from this power, you can come up with energy uh, due to the, with respect to the time it has. And because of all this, uh, you can use some elements like resistor, capacitor, and inductor, uh, which have impedance in it. All of these, even though the name is like resistors, capacitors, and inductors, they have their own impedance in it. 
And when you have impedance and you relate it with voltage and current, you can have the Ohm's law. Uh, this is where the uh, electric power relationship uh, we receive here. And then when we, you have uh, yeah, uh, the Ohm's law, then you can have the other laws, like the power and energy. So basically, we're going to apply this in DC and AC form, uh, like I mentioned in the previous uh, introduction. So what is electric circuit? It is the interconnection of electrical elements of all. So everything is governed by some rules, something like voltage law, current law, if they are in series or if they are in uh, parallel. So we need to take care of all this. Okay. So you need to read the textbook, mm, reading and also practicing. Practice it with, with your friends. And this is what we expect you to have, uh, the program outcomes. Uh, uh, this is what the Kulia wants you, the graduate with broad knowledge, uh, of course, in engineering and competence in design analysis, success in productive and productive engineers with communication skills, teams, teamwork and leadership and management. Uh, this is where we we uh, check you. Maybe at the beginning you can do the teamwork, teamwork of solving your own uh, exercise, and team up with four friends, and then do the uh, exercise together, and then compare. Right? And then you have a uh, graduates with good understanding with moral and professional ethics responsible towards uh, society and environment. This is where you need to apply your ethics. Uh, ethics means if a student level, uh, just be amanah, do not copy each other, but you need to learn something. Uh, throughout your engineering uh, student life, uh, you will develop this skill and try be professional and then you're going to practice this in your uh, working life, inshallah. And then the last part is to engage in a lifelong learning, meaning to say you're going to reapply and reapply again uh, your knowledge in your later career work, inshallah. All right, so the overview, uh, some basic concept. Uh, most important part, I think, uh, of course, the electric circuit coming from uh, first element that is charge and then current voltage power and then energy and then uh, Other things that important to me is a system of unit the SI unit and then uh, Introduction of the circuit elements uh, Why I said system of unit is very important because of even though you already uh, saw this in maybe in your math subject, in your physics subjects, right? But uh, still, I found out that uh, some of the students, they fail to convert like uh, the prefix here uh, to other prefix. Maybe let's say you have a one milli, one millisecond, one millisecond. If you want to convert it to one second, uh, this is uh, easy, right? But what if you have one millisecond and then you want to convert it to maybe other uh, other prefix? Or if this is in millisecond, then you want to convert it to hertz. But my concern is, how are you going to uh, convert from maybe nano to centi or milli to micro? Because some of you, they just use the, uh, the factors part. 1 into 10 to the power of negative 3 and then they just write down in second something like this it's supposed to have uh, something else right maybe if you want to have a in kilosecond there's no kilosecond but if let's say what you want to convert from one millisecond to one kilosecond then how to do this uh, do you know how or you have some problem with this because I assume all engineering student knows how to do to do this because you already uh, learn it from the foundation studies. 
So my task to you is to first try your best to use prefix and try your best, know how to convert it. And uh, yeah, please use prefix, uh, prefix. Why? Because I don't want you to spend time in writing the lengthy word like this. One in two, 10 to the power of negative three. No, please do not use this, but use this one millisecond. I think your calculator already uh, tells you how to convert into kilo or giga, mega, uh, centi. Uh, it's already there, right? So make sure you know how to do that. But if you still have a problem, please come to me. Okay? Just ask me how to do that because I'm still confused, madam. Mm. And your final uh, answer, please do not write in terms of this part. Or in, in your calculation, please do not write in this form. Kalau, if you cannot avoid like 1 the power of 10 the power of negative 19, then still okay. But you can still uh, reduce this into maybe, maybe uh, pico. So you can reduce this in pico, then you have negative 12 there. 1 pico to the power of negative uh, what? 7, negative 7. Right, and for the symbol here on your left side, uh, any question so far? I think the, the one you are familiar with is this part. Are you familiar with Weber and Tesla? The Weber for magnetic flux? Yes, wow. Uh, Tesla in magnetic flux density, maybe in your physics class, right? Uh, but for the rest, I think you're going to see in electric circuit class, the Coulomb, Volt, Ohms, Siemens, or conductance can also be written this way. Uh, mu, this is a mi, miho. And inductance, I think familiar, familiar, hurts also. Uh, how to convert frequency to second? Frequency to second. Any idea? Hmm? Uh, no, inverse it, right? Uh, one, uh, one divided by two. One over T. Uh -uh. Okay. All right, charge. What is a charge? It, it is a electrical property in a, a atomic size like this. So it can be a positive charge or a negative charge. If you have a negative charge, then this is an electron. Electron. And with a negative 1.602 to the power of 10, negative 19 coulomb. Make sure you have the coulombs there. And then if you have a photon, then you have a positive here, 1.602 to the power of 10, negative 19. There's some law that observed by this charge. Uh, we call it law of conservation of charge. Uh, it says that charge cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred. It's already there, uh, so you do not need to create it or destroy it because charge always all already there. Hmm. And then when you have a charge, uh, and this charge, uh, maybe let's say at this time uh, the charge is positioned here and then at time t1 the charge is at another position then this involved with uh, displacement of time right and displacement of the charge also this is a charge right so because of this movement from one place to another and it involves some different of time, then we can relate this with a current. Uh, the analogy here is that um, this one, you just imagine it moving, moving around to this other position. So the analogy here is like a water. The current can be assembled like a water. You, you have um, maybe some pipe, pipe, then you have water inside the pipe. When you open this pipe, mm, open, uh, you turn uh, the this thing on, then the water will 
uh, drop, right? So the movement of this water is the current or the current of water, right? So <clears throat> we can say that I, I is equal to the change of the current, eh, the change of the uh, charge over T. But usually uh, in our engineering class, we all always do this uh, dt, dq over dt, or this. Okay. Right, it's same. Uh, what is the unit of charge? It's in coulomb over time. Time is in second. Make sure this is in second. So another form to write uh, the current is in ampere or coulomb per second. And we have two types of current, which is the DC and AC. DC and AC. DC is the direct current and AC is the alternating current. What is a direct current? You have maybe this is a time, uh, this is a current, then you will have a constant, uh, a continuous, uh, a continuous of current over the time. And then what is alternating current? You will have a, a changing of um, uh, current over the time, okay? The meaning to say the current varies uh, sinusoidally with the time. So this is AC and this is a DC, okay? Any question? Mm, try your best not, not to put the, the uh, unit in column per second, but put the unit in. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, so what is the direct direction of current? You look at here, current, current. It moves from right side to the left side. Okay, basically current will follow the proton or the positive ion. Uh, the positive ion. So the movement of current follows the positive ion to the left side. Uh, what about electrons? Uh, the current will be in opposite direction of the current, uh, of the uh, negative ion. Okay, so you just look at the this thing and this thing. Uh, but in our electric circuit, usually um, they will only draw the negative ion, not the positive ion. Mm. Why? You can question yourself why they, they draw this instead of the uh, positive. Mm. All right. If you have a, a battery, this is a symbol of a battery, and the current is moving out from the positive charge here. Okay. They're moving and they will go through some resistance here and then return back to the negative side. Hmm. So the current, uh, yeah, the, the current direction here is actually uh, following the positive ion, right? Positive ion. Uh, but physically, this positive ion will not be there. Uh, yeah, it will not be there. Um, and electron, uh, this electron will move in opposite direction of that uh, current. But uh, this current, when it moves through resistor here, uh, this resistor will resist uh, the current coming to, through this resistor. So it depends on the, the value of the resistor, uh, or we call it a resistance value. If this resistance value is very large, um, such as R is approaching infinity, then what will happen to the current? Can you guess? Anyone? If this R is too large, such that this uh, thing becomes a barrier to the current, uh, like a Great Wall of China, so do you think that this current can flow through this resistance? Uh, no. No, right? No, no. So what will happen to the current? Current will be equal to what? Stop. Huh? Zero. Equal to? Zero. Zero. 
Yes, zero. Why zero? Because why? Because this one will become no. like an open circuit. Why open circuit? Because this is too large. When this is too large, then there's nothing can pass through the this side. So this is like an open oh. circuit. Uh -uh. And the current here will be equal to zero. This one you need to understand uh, since day one of your electric circuit. Okay. Right. Then, okay, what if we have another one? A resistor, resistance value is too small and such that it uh, almost to zero, equal to zero. So what will happen to the current? Nothing happened. What happen? Is this current can flow through R or not? Hmm. Can this yes, current can. Hmm, move yes. around? Yes, right. Yes. This current can flow through the resistor R equal to zero. We say that this R equal to zero is like a wire, a true wire. Okay, a true wire. And this one is like uh let me draw it here this is positive negative a true wire right it comes like this so current can move around until what do you think because this current can move right move and again and again and again uh what do you think the voltage will be the same hmm? What's the uh, the same or the voltage will become zero? What do you think? Uh, voltage will become zero. Yeah. It become zero. Yeah, why zero? Uh, they not off. Mm. Because current keeps moving, right? Remember, this current is actually uh, moving around. Uh, coming out from okay. positive mm -hmm. and then into the negative, right? So, meaning to say, uh, this current is doing some work <laughs> doing some work and then uh, if you if you put this configuration into your pocket you can actually feel the 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 circuit uh, the circuit feels warm meaning to say uh, it give out some uh, uh, yeah give something out so what is that thing uh, the energy okay so Eventually, the voltage will become zero because of the movement of this current. Mm. Or I don't say it, movement of the current, movement of the electron, something like that. So because of this, you can have a voltage equal to zero. Uh, or in another word, I, I put it this way. If you have a battery, okay, this is positive polarity and this is negative. This is positive and negative. And then accidentally, you connect a wire like this. A short circuit, right? Is it so? Yes. yes. A short circuit. If you put it like this, eventually you will drain out the battery here. This is a battery. Battery will become zero. So please make sure you don't put uh, the wiring like this. Don't short your battery. Okay, because why? Because you can have, uh, accidentally you will drain out your battery. Uh -uh. And then you blame your, maybe you just bought the battery, then you blame the seller uh, because because your fault, the seller got the blame. <laughs> okay, do not do this. All right, but this is the fastest way to empty your battery. You just uh, shot it both sides and then uh, finish gone your battery gone <laughs> all right uh, so far so good please remember yes. yeah, uh, a shorted a shorted uh, configuration like this is not a good way not a good way not good okay do not short it this way that's why in your figure here they put resistor because uh, they know if they put a, a shorted path here, there's no more 1.5 volt and no more 1.5 volt here. Okay. Hmm. All right. Example number one. 
A conductor has a constant current of 5 amps. Remember, a current have what? A current is equal to a charge over time. And charge is a coulomb over second. So you can play around with the units instead of this unit. And then go to the question. How many electrons pass a fixed point on the conductor in one minute? And you know that uh, one minute... Uh, yeah. One minute is supposed to be in second, right? 60 seconds. Uh-uh, 60 seconds. Or maybe if if this is one minute, then you know that straight away, you know that this is 60 seconds. But in in mathematics, you can do like one minute is equal to, you can do the multiplication. Um, what is that? One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Do something like this and you can get the 60 seconds there. Okay. Uh, this one, I put it this way because uh, sometimes uh, students uh, had to think how to how to solve these problems. They they have some some problem in converting. And then what about this electrons? You know that electrons is equal to one point six zero two oh. multiplied mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ten power of negative nineteen. And this is in column. Do you have a, uh, any other information from the column side? No, right? Only column there. Okay, good. But the question is how many electrons in one minute? Hmm. Can you figure out? The answer is there. <laughs> you uh, convert this into coulomb per minute because the question asks you what is the electron per minute, right? Okay. And then now you get the from this five, you get this 300 coulomb per minute. But in terms of electrons, you need to divide by 1.602. So you will get the electrons per minute. This is charge, only the charge. Uh, you need the electrons. So, so you do this. Is it okay? This part you can cancel out. This part also you can cancel out. So you have the uh, electrons per minute. So far, so good. If, yes. if you want to interrupt me, just say so. Eh? Uh, unmute yourself and then just uh, stop me and ask question. All right, voltage. Uh, what is a voltage? The other name for voltage is a potential difference. Potential difference. Why potential? Uh, there's a positive potential and also negative potential. And when you have a, a charge, and you require uh, an energy to move this charge. Uh, let's say the charge is in higher, positive is higher and negative is lower. From higher position to the lower position. And you need to have some energy to push this uh, charge into the lower position like this, okay? Uh, maybe this is A position and this is B position. Then we say that the movement of uh, uh, energy, energy from one movement of this uh, charge that involved with energy from one point to another point, then this is a, a potential difference from positive higher in potential to the lower in potential. Or maybe you have from lower to higher potential. Also, it involves some energy to move from one side to another. Then we saw that uh, there's a potential difference involved with this. Okay, potential difference. So, from position A to B, uh, we say that uh, the movement of charge that requires energy uh, is equal to dW over dQ, mm. like this. And you know that W is in? Joules and Q is in coulomb. So another way to write down uh, the unit is in joule per coulomb or in voltage like this. Okay. So if you have uh, a potential difference here, VAB, 
uh, equal to VAB here, a positive VAB from A to B like this, a positive. Then we say that A position here would have higher in potential than the B potential here. Okay, A is higher in potential than the B. If you have VAB, negative VAB, then the A position here, you have a lower in potential or negative and the B is higher in potential, something like that. So it depends on the positive or negative, positive or negative of the potential difference. Maybe later on you will uh, understand more on this uh, because this one quite uh, difficult to to understand. But, uh, later on, inshallah. Okay. So the voltage spot push charges mm, charge in which the flow of charges create current through the circuit. Mm. Because of the movement of the charges, then uh, we say that there's voltage. Um, movement of the touch uh, that create the flow of current here, then we say that that's potential difference or a voltage. And the current is the current is actually the rate of flow of charge, yes, for the electrons. And then the resistor resists the flow of current, yes. When you have a resistance here, then it should resist the current flowing through it. Mm. Okay. And when you have current and voltage, this is a current, this is a voltage, okay? Then you can apply some other rules, which is a power. What is power? It is a time rate, uh, whether this is delivering the energy or absorbing the energy. Or we say that energy is delivered or supplied. Uh, okay? Energy is delivered or supplied or absorbing some sometimes they put the keyword as expanding sometimes delivering sometimes supplying okay but all these are the same and the other one is absorbing energy usually resistor absorb the energy but for the down here you have a persistent convention uh, and when you look at here the power if the power is positive then we say that uh, the power is absorbed. If you see here, if power is negative, then we say that power is supplied or delivered or expanding, something like that. But I, I rarely use this uh, word, expanding. I usually use delivered or supply. Okay, then how to come up with which one is positive and negative? It's actually coming from the current flow. If you put it, the current flow this way, and the current will move out from positive, right? Positive here. Then we have a voltage into current. Then we have positive VI. And if you look at on your right side here, the current is moving through here, but it leaves the negative side. That's why you have a, a negative V into I, something like that. Hmm. So far so good. Uh, maybe later on you will understand more. It's just that you need to check the current uh, direction. The direction of the current. Hmm. Okay. How many of you already uh, went through the uh, all three videos from Dr. Huda? Three or four? Three. Three. Yeah, no, mashallah. I think we've already done the 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 video, video parts, right? That's good. Uh, and then uh, now we have that uh, what we call it as a conservation of energy. Uh, over here, you know that uh, there's only two ways: uh, the positive power or the negative power, right? The summation of these two, you should get a net of or a total of zero. Okay, uh, and we call it as a law of conservation of energy, uh, which says that uh, power delivered is equal to power uh, absorbed. Okay, 
or power produce equal to power absorb something like that sometimes they put it as energy sometimes power uh, both are okay uh, why why i say that because power is equal to uh, this right w over t the w over dt and when you uh, rearrange this you will get p dt here and then dw here and you want to eliminate the d this d side then you need to do the integration and when you cancel this you get the w equal to p dt like this but bear in mind because you have integration you, you need the some initial time up until end time so because of this uh, you need to plus something else what we call it as a initial uh, energy here something like that but sometimes they will not put this because they assume you know the rules but any integration yes you need to add this initial part okay so what is energy uh, capacity to do work okay capacity to do work because here is a power so energy is a capacity to do work and the uh, unit is in joules remember to put a uh, unit uh, please do not uh, forget the joule or any unit mm. okay uh, shall we stop here or you want to continue I think we almost, oh, we already 12.46 for more. Yes, yes, wow. You can concentrate up until now? Uh, no. No, right? No. Okay, I, I think we just stop here until here. And then we, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, you guys supposed to, uh, to say something like maybe, um, Madam, I don't want any online class today because I already... I uh, went through your the videos you sent me and then I just want uh, you to discuss on maybe the example I went through through the textbook. Uh, that's okay. I'm okay with that suggestion. Uh, okay, student. Uh, don't be too shy. Like uh, just interrupt and say something because you guys, I know you guys have like 50 students in this one class. Uh, it's difficult to concentrate. In my previous, uh, my previous class, I had one student who actually we 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 going last time. Uh, we had a uh, half an hour for just the theory class, and another half an hour for the quiz. But somehow the student uh, <laughs> fell asleep, and then he missed the the quiz because of. Uh, the the first half an hour class online class. I think he he didn't sleep the night before. So so that's a problem, right? Mm. Alhamdulillah, you guys are not sleeping. <laughs> and uh, still alive. Mm. Ah uh, yeah, alive. <laughs> so try your best uh, to just interrupt me mm. because sometimes All I right. got disconnected and then also I do not know that I was disconnected. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Ah, okay. So, uh, any other question? No. No. No, Alhamdulillah. Okay. With that, we finish our class with Tasbih Kafara and Suratul Al As. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Inna inna anta stafruka wa atubu inik. Al As inna al insan al bihus inna al ladina amanu wa amanu salihus. Atawasam bil haq. Atawasam bil sab. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Hmm, kenapa kita ada dua empat student je? Okay, Dr. Hmm. Ya, yeah. okay. Ada yang dah keluar lah. Ada yang dah keluar. Ada yang dah keluar. Ada yang dah keluar. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Madam, mana dah keluar? Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam.